To be honest, this is not the first tsunami we ever had. In a way, I was prepared, you know, that something big was going to happen. It was something that I couldn't even imagine. My town, it was just totally washed away. 25 million tons of garbage, does it mean anything to you? 20 million tons of debris is seven times the weight of the BP oil spill. We have never had a chance to see a debris field come across an ocean from a major catastrophe. It may travel 10,000 miles. It's going to have an impact somewhere downhill in the oceans. I don't think anybody in their wildest dreams thought a huge dock was going to wash up. My first reaction was the invasive species. But we need to know what's on the debris. We need to know what to prepare for. I had five of them over 30 years, and then all of a sudden, we got this many. Looks like a one-eyed smiley face. We're on a three-month countdown. There is no time for committee meetings. There is no time for white papers. There is no time for business as usual. You need to put boots on the ground. There's a vast army of citizen scientists. They don't have degrees, but they are far better observers than nearly every scientist I've ever met. I started beach plumbing for glass floats with a friend. Been doing it since 1976. And my museum's up here. According to Kurt, there's going to be a lot of stuff yet to come in. Kurt has instilled in me that there's a story behind everything. It was actually sitting there with all this writing sticking up. It was just like, whoa. Immediately, I was thinking that we got to figure out what it says, whose it is. We've been watching the ocean for a few weeks, just wondering what's out there, and someone saw a boat. Actually, the first person who saw it yelled whale. Very quickly, we knew that it was something different. I'm overwhelmed with, with caution and compassion. It quickly went from fascination and excitement to the sobering reality that this was someone's, someone's property. So I feel compelled to find that individual. Part of this tragedy is touching us, and I think that there's a connectedness in it that's actually kind of beautiful. For people who lost cherished possessions, just able to get one thing back, these are the remnants of people's lives. I can't emphasize enough to beachcombers that it's, it's these human connections which are the incredible important things. So it's not just garbage, it's, it's people's lives. <laughs>